Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will solve a nice equation which is 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 whole power x plus 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. And we will solve this equation for x. Okay. Here we have second term square root of 3 to the power x plus 4. As we know that a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. So, our above equation will become 3 to the power x minus square root of 3 to the power x times square root of 3 to the power 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. And also, we know that square root of any number is equal to n to the power 1 divided by 2. So it will become 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power x times 3 to the power 1 divided by 2 and its whole power 4 plus 20 is equal to 0. Now here we will use this exponential rule which is a to the power m whole power n is equal to a to the power mn. So it will become 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power 1x times x divided by 2. So it will become x divided by 2 times it will become 3 to the power 4 divided by 2 plus 20. And it is equal to 0. It will become to 1 times 2 to 2 times 4, 3 squared. 3 squared is same as 9. So, we can write it as 9 times 3 to the power x divided by 2 plus 20 is equal to 0. Okay. Okay, now we will let that 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to m. If 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to m, then what will be 3 to the power x? If we apply square on both sides, so it will become m squared. So this square and square root will be cancelled out and 3 to the power x will be equal to m squared. Okay. So 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to m and 3 to the power x is equal to m squared. So our above equation will become m squared minus 9 times m plus 20 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation. So we will solve this quadratic equation by factorization. So first and last term will become 20 m squared. And midterm is minus 9m. It's mean sum should be equal to minus 9m and product should be equal to 20m square. If we take factors negative 5 times negative 4, so it will give us positive 20. And negative 5 and negative 4, sum of negative 5 and negative 4 will be equal to minus 9. So we will take here m squared minus 5m minus 4m plus 20 is equal to 0. Sum is negative m, 9m and product will be plus 20m squared. Okay. From these two terms we have m is common. So it will become this divided by this will be m minus this divided by this will be 5. Now negative 4 is common. So this divided by this will be m, negative times positive will become negative, 20 divided by 4 will be 5 is equal to 0. Now in these two terms, we have m minus 5 is common. So it will give us m minus 4 is equal to 0. Here we have two factors m minus 5 and an m minus 4. Now we have two cases m minus 5 is equal to 0 or m minus 
4 is equal to 0. From this factor we have value of m will be 5 and from m minus 4 is equal to 0 m will be equal to 4. But if we recall that m is equal to 3 to the power x divided by 2. So it will become 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to 5 and it will become 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to 4 and we have to find the value of x so I will apply log of base 3 on both sides on both equations log of base 3 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to log of base 3 pi. Similarly, log of base 3, um, 3 to the power x divided by 2 is equal to log of 4 with base 3. As we know that log of a to the power n is equal to n log of a. So it will become x divided by 2 log of 3 base 3 is equal to log of 5 base 3. Okay, log of a with base a is equal to 1. So it's mean log of 3 with base 3 will also be equal to 1 x divided by 2 times 1 will be x divided by 2 is equal to log of 5 base 3. Now to find the value of x we will multiply this denominator 2 by multiplying 2 on both sides. So this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and x will be equal to 2 times log of 5 base 3. And also if we have log of a with base b, so it will be equal to ln of a divided by ln of b. So it will become x is equal to 2 times ln of 5 divided by ln of 3. x will be equal to 2 times ln of 5 divided by ln of 3 will be equal to 1.4649. When we will multiply 2 with 1.4649, so it will give us 2.9299. So it is the approximate value of x. It is the first value of x so I will write it x1. Now same steps will apply here. So it will become x divided by 2. Log of 3 base 3 will be equal to 1. And it will become ln of 4 divided by ln of 3. According to this law of logarithm. So ln of 4 divided by ln of 3 will give us 1.5. 2618. Now to find the value of x, we will multiply 2 on both sides. So this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. x will be equal to approximately equal to 2 times 1.2618 will give us 2.5237. So it is the second value of x. First one is 2.9299 and the second one is 2.5237. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.